hello guys welcome back to my channel this is third part of cambridge progression test for year 9 uh, so this is question 21 in the previous videos we did question 1 to 20 and here is question 21 before we start i would request you guys to subscribe to my channel because i've seen like 89 percent of my viewers have not subscribed to the channel guys please do that it just need one click so thanks for the ones who are supporting me by subscribing and sharing and let me know in the comment section about the feedback i will wait for that so let's start number 21 uh, shape a and shape b are drawn on the grid you see this is shape a and shape b um, shape a is mapped on to b by combination of two transformations the first transformation is reflection in y equals to x so y equals to x line is going to be this line over here so this is reflected here so let me see then this uh, describe fully the second transformation so you have the first transformation the second transformation we need to find out so y equals to x means when x is 1 y is 1 right when x is 2 y is 2 when x is 3 y is 3 so we will have this is the line y equals to x so like this this is line y equals to x so when it is reflected in y equals to x so shape is going to come this side right so if we it is there we can draw that also so first need to find out the reflection of this sorry i just got this tracing paper just bear with me guys uh, so what you need to do you just need to draw image of this shape and this is our line then you just flip it so turn from this this line you know like this then you will see when you flip this way your shape is going to come over here right you see this is the reflection into y equals to line y equals to x so it is here so that means this side is going to be like this okay so this is the reflection we got it but after this is the first uh, transformation the second one we need to how this reached here you see this is a movement so we will see we can just choose one unit uh, i mean one corner so how many units is right one i'm sorry left uh yeah so this corner to reach here mm, that should come over here actually so one two three four so four units left that means minus four then one two three four five six seven eight and nine units right so minus nine so this we can say is a translation of translation which is negative four and negative nine so always write the x movement above and uh, the y movement down there right so let's move to the next question we have this question here number 22 uh, i think guys i missed this question number 20 so let's do number 20 first before we move to the next one uh, so we have number 20 here uh, the table shows information about the wingspan of 50 butterflies so this is the wingspan and this is the frequency right and uh, now about this uh, the question is draw a frequency polygon to show this information the frequency polygon is here so this uh, you need to have the midpoint of this to draw the frequency polygon so midpoint of this and this 4.0 and 4.4 so this is going to be 4.2 and midpoint of this is going to be 4.6 uh, and this is going to be 5.0 then 5.4 and 5.8 so 4.2 is in the middle here this is 4.2 line and up to 5 5 is here so we can just draw here a star or i mean the dot 
so then we have 4.6 and 12 4.6 is in the middle here and 12 12 is going to be here then we have 5 5 and 23 5 and 23 1 2 3 then we have 5.4 and 8 5.4 and 3 5 6 7 8 then we have 5.8 and 2 2 is going to be here so now you just draw join these points to make the frequency polygon okay so you see this is three marks question so you need to be very careful doing that so now question number 22 you can see triangle here the diagram shows a triangle ABC DE is parallel this DE is parallel to AC calculate the size of angle marked X now um, this is parallel so we need to find out relationship between the angles like here we have um, if this is 115 then this is going to be 180 minus 115 because this is on the straight line right so 10 minus 5 is 5 7 minus 165 so we got this as 65 right and now this is 60 so this is also going to be 60 because this makes this f shape the corresponding angles right now we can find out x so x plus 65 plus 60 is equal to 180 so x plus 125 so x is 180 minus 125 so my that is 55 degrees so final answer is going to be 55 degrees right now number 23 the li line segment joining ab to cd has midpoint so we have a line segment like this joining these are the coordinates right c and d the midpoint here is 3.5 always guys remember and try to make the rough diagram suggest so possible coordinates for a b and c d now you see this is the possibility now we are just suggesting the possibility you may have different answer so how do you get the uh, this number here i mean um, the midpoint so midpoint is always given by adding the coordinates a plus c divided by 2 will give you 3.5 right so a plus c so a plus c is equal to 3.5 times 2 that is a plus c should have value 7 so what numbers can give you value 7 so that is for a and c that can suggest the value of a and c right so we can have let's see so we can have any number that gives value for 7 so it can be uh, like let's say 4 plus 3 is 7 so this value is 4 and this is 7 now the other one is b plus d over 2 is equal to minus 2 so b plus d supposed to be minus 4 so we can choose any two numbers like let's say this is negative 1 and this is negative 3 that will give you negative 4 so this may be the answer uh, negative 4 and negative 3 right so that's number 23 which was a bit different okay number 24 So question number 24 simplify so we just trying to simplify it so first of all you see what is common 4 is common then p is min 1 minus 4 times 3 then q over 4p so this 4p and 4p is cancelled so answer is 1 minus 3q okay now number 25 the nth term of the sequence s is this and the nth term of the sequence t is this uh, show that 91 is a term in sequence s okay so if this is a sequence in x so the, in s uh, so the nth term of s nth term of s is equal to 2n plus 5 now let's say if this is the term 
91 so it should give a full answer i mean the whole number so 91 minus 5 91 minus 5 is 86 2 and over 2 over 2 so this is 43 so that means this is the 43rd term of that so we can say for n 86 is in every even number and so that can be the term of so therefore it is term of s right now show that 91 is not term of sequence c so if it is a term of c let's say let 91 is a term in t so that means 3n minus 6 supposed to be 91 so 3n is equal to 91 plus 6 which is 97 over 3 over 3 so from here you are going to get n is equal to 3 times 3 9 um, 3 times 2 6 32.3 so you see number of term cannot be in decimal uh, number of term cannot be it cannot be in decimal it should be a whole number like the first term second term 32 term 33 there is nothing like 32.3 term so that's why this is not the sequence of therefore uh, 91 is not in t right now part c find the value of the term that is in both sequences and in the same position in each sequence so for that uh, uh, we need to equate that we need to find out the value of n so what we are going to do this equals to this one so just solve it for this so 5 plus 6 3 n minus 2 n this is 11 and this is n so n is equal to 11 so 11th term is going to be same like in s we will say 2 times 11 plus 5 22 plus 5 is 27 and in t we will have 3 times 11 minus 6 that is 33 minus 6 27 so you see both terms are equal so that's find the value of the nth of the term that is in both so that value is 27 right now number 26 so Mia asked the boys and girls in her class how many siblings brothers and sisters they have e they each have she draws this chart of her results so here we have boys and girls you see the dark one is for boys the light one is for girls now you see uh, tick to show if boys or the girls generally have more sibling more sibling who have more sibling here you see number of sibling one two three for girls it stops here but for boys they have four or more so we will tick uh, boys here and answer we can say like that for boys for boys the range is four or more but for girls it's only up to three right now tick range of the number of siblings is bigger for boys or for girls mm, it will again be coming the boys so uh, you can have the same answer here in different form you can say the range range is four in case of boys and three in case of girls right so how is it like maximum number is four for boys it's four minus zero that is four and for girls it's 3 minus 0 it is 3 right question 27 this is the last question of this paper i hope you guys are getting everything please subscribe to my channel if you have not done that until now and i will wait for your comments for the feedback 
so we have this last question here solve the simultaneous equations so you see we first for that we need to have one of the coefficients same so we can make this coefficient same by multiplying it by 2 so the whole equation will be multiplied by 2 so we can rewrite everything here 4x plus 5y equals to 17 and the other one we have when you multiply this will become 4x plus 8y equals to 13 times 2 is 26 then you subtract so now sometimes students don't know when to subtract and when to add so you see when you have same sign then you subtract so when you subtract then change the sign of the lower equation so this equation there is no sign that means this is plus so we will change it to minus and this is also minus and this also minus now 4x minus 4x is this one 5 minus this is negative 3y equals to 26 minus 17 is 9 so y is going to be uh, this will be negative 9 negative 9 over negative 3 that is 3 so y is 3 now you substitute in first equation or even in second wherever you want to get the value of x 4x plus 5y equals to 17 4x plus 5 times 3 is 17 and 4x equals to 17 minus this 15 uh, which is 2 and uh, this is 4x divide by 4 divide by 4 right so 1 over 2 that is 0 0.5 so x is 0 0.5 so that's it for this one guys please let me know in the comment section if you like the video and what next paper do you want me to do god bless you guys see you in the next video